Well, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, uh, so sorry for the long break. Uh, you know, we've, we've just had some slow, slow, hot days here uh, in Illinois and the fish just haven't been biting. It hasn't been lacking me trying. I've been out here trying to get some cool videos out for you guys, but I haven't been able to catch anything. So no dice with that. But today, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I went with my grandpa bow fishing on this little creek and we saw quite a few bass in the midst of it. We ended up killing eight or nine carp maybe, but we saw a bunch of big bass. So today I'm going to be doing a solo cast and blast. All right. So by that, I mean, I'm going to be bringing my pole into this creek looking for bass. We're going to get to a point where there's starting to be more carp in a certain area of this creek. We're going to bow fish for a little bit and then we're going to do a little bit more fishing to push through the rest of this creek. All right. So a cast and blast fishing and hunting, not quite hunting, but bow fishing. So either way, should be an action packed video. I'm seeing fish, some suckers and carp already. So We'll at least get some bow fishing in. Hopefully we can catch some bass. Starting with this big beefed up Lake Fork worm. Just free weighting it. So should be a good day. Let's do it. Oh yeah. All right, gang, we made it. So believe it or not, from where I'm standing here, to over on that bank is probably about the widest part of the creek I'll be fishing today. It is just a very small creek. And as you can see, it thins up that way big time, but I'm gonna fish up towards this bridge just a little bit, and then we're heading that way for the rest of the trip. don't seem to be into the worm, which is interesting. What's up? That one. Had one there. That's a good sign. Switch up to the jig first cast. Take that. We can move up now. Saw one nice fish. And he spooked on that worm. I think he saw me though. But I uh, switched over to the jig and had a couple small little bass nibbling at it. So that could be a good sign that they are hungry and it's just a matter of getting the right presentation in front of them. There we go, fish one. There we go, baby. That is the one thing we noticed when we came here. Oh, he's gone. Is that this creek is almost exclusively largemouth. We only saw a handful of smallies that entire time we walked this creek. And that's the second decent fish I've seen, and it was a largemouth. The first one up always is also a largemouth. There's another one right here. But that was nothing compared to what we had been originally seeing. He's got it. Oh, had it. Um, I mean, we saw some that were well over four pounds. There's, there's a lot of fish right here. There's one right there. And there's fish just all up and down this bank. They're hiding in these little nooks. Stuff like this. They're hiding in those nooks. And it's hard for me to see them because it's shaded. Even with these sunglasses on, I can't see too well. Yeah, see, there's some fish right here. Those aren't bad, so. Chub. Creek chub. Jesus, he scared me. No wonder there's no fish right here. Here we go. He's got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I 
That's what we were seeing in these creeks, baby. <laughs> Dandy largemouth. Come here, big guy. Boom. Look at that. Can you believe that? In this little creek, I mean, that's a solid, solid fish. I, I got to watch him eat, which is really cool. Come on, he was not coming off. There we go. Boom. Probably a good two, two and a half fish. And he's got some shoulders. They're eating good in here, eating crawdaddies and bluegill. But man, he swiped that bait. This is nothing compared to what we were seeing, but that is still a nice fish. Awesome one to get landed, first first landing one of the day. So, how sweet is that? <laughs> sweet. I just about guarantee that almost every fish I catch today has never ever seen a lure before. Just no one touches this creek. We just happened to decide that it was good enough to bass fish. And is, it, to me, it's already paid off just with that one nice fish. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, Rocky. All right. All right, that's cool. I didn't see him in there. Sweet. Species two. Little surprise guest. We'll always take the old rock bass. Sweet, man. Something took that for a ride. Holy cow. He picked it up and said, nope, that's mine. There he is. <laughs> that might be a smallie there. Yes, it is. All right. We have accomplished a bass slam. This smallmouth has eggs. How weird is that? Either that or it's just so fat that it looks like it has eggs. You guys be the judge. That looks like eggs to me, but maybe it's just a pig. Either way, what a pretty fish. Love catching these big fat smallies. Awesome. There's another one. That looks like another little largemouth. I'll ask you guys, do you think he wanted it? <laughs> Engulf that bait. All right, he's got some blood, so we're gonna send him right back. Fish number, boy, I don't know, four, right? One, I don't know, four, we're gonna say four. Nice large mouth. He's got some more marks on him. Come on, buddy. All right. Bam. <laughs> Another pig. Yeah, he's got a big old, I don't know if that's a turtle bite or what that is on top of his head there, but decent fish. Another nice one. Fast facts up in here. Yep. <laughs> Sweet man. A little more. All right, come here, buddy. Another one. Fat man. Look at that gut. Away he goes. He's still there. He's 
still right there. Like an idiot. All right. Well, I'm gonna go grab the bow, see if we can kill a few lip boys. All right. They're on my head now, so that's why it might look a little different. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get after some carps and suckers and apparently sheep's head. I don't know if they were in here. I guess I can shoot those. If not, I don't know. Too bad. Oh man, of course, huge bass comes strolling out. If I see one more big bass before I see any carp, I'm gonna jump ship and go right back to bass fishing. There is a sheep said though, that's funny. All right, we're gonna go grab the pole. I've seen too many nice bass. All right, here's what I switched to. This little finesse purple worm. Much less intimidating of a profile than that first worm I was using, so I'm hoping that'll be a difference maker. Because some of these fish are getting skittish on that uh, jig. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they saw me or what. But this is a much better profile for them to hit, I believe. Yep, there's one right there. Nailed it. Chunker. <laughs> Got him next time. <laughs> it's the same fish I've been working on that whole time. Another dandy, absolute dandy for this creek. Took it. <laughs> Sweet. I'll tell you what, that one has got some markings. Wow. I didn't even see him pick it up. Yeah, look at that stripe on him, man. That is a pretty fish. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Spit it. There we go. <laughs> Dang, they are strong. <laughs> that was sweet, man. That was sweet. Nice fish there, too. <laughs> awesome, man. Sweet. There are two decent fish right there, and a little one picked it up, swiped it from me. And then uh, he spit it. I didn't set the hook on him. 
And then right when he spit it, that one took it. How awesome. You don't count. This one doesn't count. There's a big one over there and he stole it. You don't count. Get out of here. Little bastard. All right. All right, gang. Well, not the most exciting end, but a necessary end, I guess. I was out here a lot longer than I thought. I took two hours just to cover that little stretch of water. It was maybe like 100 yards of water. I just hit it really hard. I could have kept going but I just chose not to. There were some big fish right there. I said, you know what, I'll save that other spot. The rest of it gets a lot deeper down this way. I'm gonna save that for later because who knows what's hiding deep in there. But hey, what a hell of a day um, for, for the casting portion anyways. The blasting portion didn't go too hot. I think I took two shots, uh, one at a sucker and one at a sheep's head, which is weird to see them in here. But man, the bass in here are just unbelievable. They're so strong, they're mean. Hit the bass slam today. Large mouth, small mouth rock bass. So that was pretty sweet. Happy to do that. Haven't done that in a long time. And that's not what I was expecting to do here in this little dinky creek. But I definitely figured out a pattern on these fish. And I'm definitely going to keep that in my mind for later. I really want to come here early, early in the morning and hit it with top water. I think that would just be unbelievable. I think it'd be a really cool bite. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely got some fun stuff coming up. More stuff like this. So, if you're all excited about that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, find me on the social media at Adventure with AK, and we'll see you on the next adventure.